give God praise. We give him glory. We thank him. We praise you, Jesus. We honor you, Lord. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your power. We thank you for who you are, God. We just worship your name. Come on, let's worship him. The Bible says that they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. We love you. We praise you, God, for allowing us to be in your presence today. God, we cast all our cares on you this morning, for you care for us. We cast all our cares on you because you care for us. You said, cast them all down, Rosha. So we cast all our cares before you, Jesus. We thank you. We praise you, God, for your presence, God. Your love is better than life, God. We thank you for allowing us to gather. We thank you for allowing us to come together once again. God, we thank you for the breath in our lungs, God. We thank you, God, for the blood running warm through our veins, God. We thank you that you are a faithful God. There is nothing that you cannot and there is nothing that you will not do, God, because you are a faithful God. Come on, pull on his faithfulness. Come on, tell him how holy he is, how much you love him, how much of a friend that he is. Hallelujah. We thank you for being our friend this morning. We thank you, God, for being a present help in the time of trouble. We thank you. We praise you that you are a mighty good God. There is nobody like you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, we thank you. We found a praise in our hearts for you this morning. We found praise. We found gratitude in our hearts, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We praise your name, God. We praise your name, Lord. We praise you, God. We praise you. 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 We praise you, God. We praise you, Lord. Every praise is due to you. Every praise is due to you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We honor you, Jesus. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. Hallelujah. God, you instructed us to enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. And we enter in, Lord, with our praise this morning. We bless you. We bless you. I, I encourage you to use your keys this morning. The Bible says we enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Those are your keys. So how you enter is with thanksgiving and with praise. You don't praise him once you get in. The key to enter is by thanksgiving and with praise. So use your key this morning. Come on, use your key. Use your key this morning. Come on and praise his name. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. If you don't feel his presence, just praise into his presence. If you don't feel his presence, he said, I can guarantee I'll give you my presence with your praise. Give an exchange this morning. Give an exchange this morning. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, God, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same the name of the Lord the name of the Lord the name of the Lord is to be praised hallelujah come on we're going to bless his name today hey we bless you Jesus yes oh the song says every praise is to our God we bless you oh Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Yes, every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise. Every praise is to our God. Hey, hey, you say it. Every praise is to our every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. We lift it up to you, we say. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord yeah. every praise yes every praise is to our god hey and this part simply says god my 
praise to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Yes, we say every praise, every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise, every praise, every praise, every hallelujah, every thank you, Jesus. The waving of our hands, the waving of our hands, the reason why we live, the reason why we breathe. We have our being in you. We have our being in you. Every praise. Every praise, hey. every praise, every praise, it all goes to you, 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 every praise, every praise, every praise, every praise, every praise, every praise, every praise. Every praise. It's to our you do you said let everything that have breath praise you I won't let a rock cry out I won't let a rock cry out you've been too good Lord you've kept our minds Lord you've kept us in perfect peace as our mind is on you we put our minds on you Jesus yes and we say praise him Praise him. Oh, praise him. Woo. Hey, God, praise him. Jesus, blessed Savior, he's worthy to be. Praise. Come on, if you know it, come on, sing it with me. Oh, oh, praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Yes, praise him. Jesus, blessed Savior. He's worthy. This part says, glory, glory in all things. Give God glory. His name is Jesus, blessed Savior. He's worthy to be praised. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, yeah, praise him. His name is Jesus, his name is Jesus, oh, oh Jesus, the lily of the valley. Hey, the bright and morning star, Jesus, blessed Savior, he's worthy to be praised. We praise you, we praise you, we praise you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, come on, blessed Savior. Blessed Savior, he's worthy to be praised. 
from the rising of the sun. Come on, everybody. From Unto the going down. Worthy, he's worthy. Jesus is worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Praise him. Praise him. You know he's worthy. Give him some praise. Hallelujah. He's worthy to. While you're still standing, while you're still standing, Revelation chapter 3. Revelation chapter number 3. We say praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's a good thing to be in the house of the Lord. Anybody else excited to be here? Amen. 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 The Lord blessed us. The Lord has blessed us. Revelation chapter number three, um, verse number seven is where we'll begin reading. And we'll conclude at verse number eight. Revelation chapter three, verse seven and verse eight. Let's read together. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, these things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man openeth. Verse 8, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Can we say amen? Can we say amen again? Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the power that is in this place. We thank you for the power that is in your word. God, cover our bishop and his family. Pastor Monica, Lord, cover them. Continue to give them traveling mercies. God, we thank you for your anointing that is here. Let it rest, rule, and abide. Let it break up everything in here that is not like you. Let it destroy anything that tries to show its head. Come up against everything, God, that comes up against us. God, we thank you. We stand in your grace. We stand in your goodness. And we celebrate you in advance. If you're in agreement with me, can we give God a crazy praise? Of Come on, let's give him crazy praise. <laughs> oh, you made it a whole other year. It's 2022 when you thought you was going to lose your mind. God spared us when we thought we was going to give up. God kept us. God bless you. You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. Happy New Year. I know a whole lot of us wasn't here last week. And it, it 2020 and 2021, I've said this before if you haven't heard me say it felt like one year it just seemed uninterrupted and and that's not all good when you in a problem state right you just want the year to end and want to get on with the next year um and and that was probably one of the more more or i should say two of the most difficult years in my life um it it, it those two years challenged um my courage it challenged my character, and it challenged my determination. It would seem like um, the year would end and I would be like, thank God. Y'all know how we do when we celebrate a new year. We get real excited and be like, can't wait for this year to be over. Um, but but that, 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 that period, those two years, um, some of those battles we lost, right? Uh, but thank God, some of them we won too. Amen. Amen. It, it gave us, well, if you don't, if you didn't just say I won, I won some. Amen. Some I lost, but some I won. Thank God. And, and, and every test wasn't COVID related, you see. 
Some tests came up because Satan just desired to destroy us and to sift us as wheat. Uh, um, others what was just a pure uh, going through bouts, some people would say, of depression. Some people were fighting bouts of unforgiveness. Um, some people were fighting bouts of just pure loss, just the overall uh, heaviness of losing one person uh, after another, family member after family member. Some lost jobs and some, and if you lose a job, then normally the hardship kicks in and you start wondering where you're going to live. And then you start wondering how you're going to eat. These are things that literally happened for the last two years in the United States. Many of us know some folk, right, that have gone through loss, that have gone through depression, that have gone through dealing with unforgiveness. And, and some have even fought with the will to just keep living, plain old living, you know, not wanting to get out the bed and not wanting um, to just wake up and see another day. I've, I've talked to people in, in during that span that just came, made the conclusion in their mind that they literally did not want to get up. And when their eyes woke up, they were upset and frustrated uh, because they, they thought that the Lord would take them on into glory. Thank God that wasn't the case. Somebody say, we made it. Come on here, somebody. And if you want to make it personal, say, I made it. I made it. I made it. I made it. Thank God. Can we give God a praise right there? Thank God we made it. Thank God the Lord helped us. Thank God he answered prayer. Amen, somebody. Didn't the Lord answer your prayers? Didn't he come through when you least expected it? Didn't he answer, amen, what you called and, and cried about when nobody else knew what you was praying about? Somebody ought to give him a praise right there, right there. Prayer helped us. Prayer helped us. Prayer shifted our lives. Prayer put us in a position, amen, to believe and receive the unimaginable. Prayer did things for us that money couldn't do, amen. Prayer did things for us that big mama couldn't do. Prayer did things that your loving daddy couldn't do. It was prayer that brought you through the midnight hour when you felt like your mind was going to snap and felt like your heart was going to break. It was prayer, amen, that opened up your mind and told you that you was going to be all right. Prayer is, is that thing, amen, that breaches heaven. Uh, uh, these walls, amen, and these barriers can't block a praying saint, you hear me. Uh, so it was prayer that, that God heard you, whether you were kneeling or standing, whether you were sitting or walking, whether you were screaming or crying, amen, God heard our prayer. And, and, and these things, and when we did all of these, no matter what the posture was, amen, prayer began to give us the courage to continue when we wanted to quit. Anybody want to quit? in 2020, 2021. Did it feel like the same year for anybody else beside me? Two years felt like one. It's so confusing. I'm like, if we can just get through one, Lord. <laughs> and then we capped it off with 2021 wasn't going out without a fight. It was like, get them again. <laughs> New year, we sat at home uh, because of the un increase in COVID. This is just, a, a that was just a crazy time. Uh, a prayer also created quality characteristics during that time. Just think about how much better you got. Think about how much, how more anointed you are. Think about how God brought you to this place and to this time. Amen. When you need, least expect it to be here. Think about that. Think about how God birthed a different kind of determination in your spirit because of all of what we went through. Just think about it. Think about how God never left us, nor did he forsake us. Oh my God. It was just so confusing and conflicting sometimes how the blessings just kept going and coming and how just craziness was all around me. I know this sounds familiar because it is. I just couldn't understand how, God, you're anointing me and keeping me, uh, but doom and gloom is all around me. You're, you're increasing me in areas when other areas seem to be falling apart. 
uh, you, you're, you're helping me in areas when I feel hopeless in so many other areas. How can it be that you, God, being the God that you are, see this duality that I'm going through and not jump in and save the day and say, son, I've been with you this whole time. How is it, God? <coughs> Pardon me. How can you leave me at a place and a time where I'm questioning you and believing you at the same time? How I'm doubting you, but my faith is intact at the same time. The, this God let me know that that was a year that you had to go through. 2020, some of you have went, had experienced so much loss, so much pain, so much hurt, so much disappointment, but you're still here. Uh, 2021, you'd never thought that you had bad health, bad, bad financial uh, 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 situations, things that was happening on a large scale, but you made it to this point. I, I bring you good news that God heard your prayer. Come on here, somebody. God gave you the strength to rebuke the devil when he tried to come against you. God gave you the strength to forgive when it seemed unpopular and impossible. God gave you the ability to love when hate was at its highest, and, amen, and, discom and, and confusion was at its worst. God kept our mind in perfect peace. Come on here. When the devil thought he was going to wipe us out, God came through and said, I've heard your prayer. I've seen your tears. I'm going to send you the deliverance and the help that you need. And we made it another year. Somebody ought to, somebody ought to give God some praise up in this place. Not a cute pity pat, not, not a, oh Lord, I love you. Is there anybody that know if God wouldn't have brought you out, your mind would have literally snapped. You would have literally gave up. You would have literally thrown in the towel. This is a good place to give God praise if you know he brought you through a storm. Let the saints shout hallelujah in the place. So God heard our prayer and it's the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous that avails much. You remember the prophet Elijah when he prayed and God told him to pray and he prayed and he prayed that it rained not according to the book of James chapter 5 and 17. You can read it in your own time. The Bible said that he prayed that it would not rain. Come on here. He, he prayed that the elements would stop doing what they would do. He prayed that there would be no dew nor rain on the ground and the earth because of the nation's condition. And the Bible said that when he prayed that it rained not for three and a half years. Can you imagine reaching heaven to the point where heaven's doors begin to lock stuff and hold stuff up and stop things from happening that naturally and should be and could be happening. He prayed and that it might not rain and it didn't rain. And then the Bible says, and it, when he began, when God laid it on him, he prayed again uh, that it would rain. And the heaven gave rain and the earth brought forth her fruit. Thank God that you see, thank you, sweetie, you see how the Lord was working things out for Elijah and I'm here to let you know and that the way that you have prayed the things that you have called on God to stop the things that you told God I don't need it to happen anymore the things you told God you wasn't ready for because mentally your mind had not stepped up to it the thing that you told God to hold off on just give me a little bit of time to, who am I talking to up in here give me a little bit of time to get myself together Lord and then bless me well God says it's been three and a half years and it's time for the windows of heaven to open up I bring you good news today the Lord is going to bless you the Lord is going to keep you the Lord is going to smile upon you and the Bible said that the earth brought forth fruit and I'm here to tell you that the earth is getting ready to bring forth fruit if you believe it in the place come on and give God some come on and give God some praise My apologies. I, 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 I'm, I'm so hyped. I didn't even give you the thought for the day. The thought for today, after reading Revelations chapter 3, verses 7 and 8, is 2022 Blessings Boulevard. 2022 Blessings Boulevard. Come on, God is getting ready to change some of y'all's address. 
2022. Oh, I know it's a year, but you're getting ready to wear it. You're getting ready to earn it. It's getting ready to be your year, and we might as well put the name on it, Blessings Boulevard. That's where I'm going to be dwelling. If you want to find me, you're going to have to come see me at a place that the blessings are flowing, that the anointing is happening, that the power of God is moving. Oh, I know where we dwell at. Oh, I know where this place is at. Oh, I know we on left a lane, but tell somebody I'm going to another place, a place where eyes have not seen, not my eyes ears have not heard neither has it entered into your heart what the Lord has in store for you so let's get into the text let's get into the text you understand it the text reads in verse number seven chapter number three and to the angel of the church in Philadelphia the city of brotherly love the things amen say these things Pardon me, saith he that is holy. In other words, God, who is dictating to the church of Philadelphia, he's writing, he has written through John on the Isle of Patmos, on the Isle of Patmos, he's written to John and told him, send this to the seven churches. Let the churches know their condition. And the other six churches, he certainly blessed them, but he challenged them and he corrected them as well. Some churches have fallen into a state where they didn't even understand that they have gotten away from God. They had literally left their first love, literally given up on God to the point that even God told a church that you're neither hot nor cold. I wish you were either one of them. But since you neither of the above, I have to spit you out. I don't want to fool with you anymore. I don't want to deal with you anymore. I know that you feel that God has given up on you, but you're not in that state. Come on here, somebody. You're not there yet. God, God, no, you're not that bad off. No, no, you're not. No, I know you ain't reading the way you want to read. I know your prayer life ain't what it, want, what it once was. Oh, I know that you're not in the Bible and studying and going on four and five day fast. Oh, I know God's telling me to tell you, but he said, but you're not bad off yet. You're not gone too far yet that I can't reach you. At night, you know that I still love you. You know I still deal with you. You know that God hasn't given up on you because you feel his anointing when you wake up in the morning. You know God hasn't forsaken you because you feel his power when you walk in your living room. You know God hasn't given up on you even though all of your shortcomings, all of the faults that you have still struggling with addictions and still holding on to past things and still trying to fight your way through. God said, I haven't spit you out. I haven't spit you out. I, I still love you. I still want you. I still got another chance for you. If you just open up and let me in, somebody ought to give God a praise right here. Oh, I feel the anointing. You ought to give God a from your belly praise. You ought to open up your mouth and tell him thank you in here. Shout hallelujah in the sanctuary. Oh my God, shout glory to the king. Glory, 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 glory. Hey. Hallelujah, hallelujah. How, somebody ought to give him some praise. I feel worship in this place. I feel glory in this place. Lord, have your way in this place. Break up walls in this place. Tear down barriers in this place. Heal if you want to in this place. Set free if you want to in this place. Deliver if you want to in this place. Rebuke depression in here. Come up against everything that's not like you in this place. And so he wasn't writing to the church of Philadelphia and talking to them and telling them all of their faults and shortcomings. Y'all know we got a lot of them, right? Anybody else in here like me got some stuff that you're dealing with and just, Lord, just, just help me, Lord. Help me, Jesus. Help me. Don't let me carry all that junk I carried in 2020 and 2021 into this new year. Uh, come on here. Anybody in here feel like God gonna hear you? Come on, Lord. I don't want it no more. You need to give it up now. I'm trying to get to Blessings Boulevard. I don't want to stay in the place and the state that I'm in. Give God a wave offering if that's you. Just give it up to him, Lord. Take it. Take 
take it, take it. Take the way that I think. Come on, come on. Take the way, take my old thoughts. Take my old way of doing things. I need a new move. I need a new anointing. I need a new way of living. I need a new you, God, a new you. And so to the church of Philadelphia, he says, these things saith he that is holy. God is saying, I'm declaring to you something that is getting ready to happen. And the perspective that I'm coming from is a holy perspective because God is holy. And he's saying, I want to start you a new Philadelphia. I want to make you over. I want to give you a blessing. I'm, I want to, I'm, but and I'm letting you know that if you didn't meet the criteria, I wouldn't be here addressing you as a holy God. I can, when God declares that he's holy and when he declares it and there's no wrath behind it, God is saying that you have found favor up to this point and I'm going to bless you. Some of you are standing in the presence of a holy God. Uh, even in your room, you know he's holy. Even in your, on your job, he's there because you've met the criteria. God is saying, I'm going to bless you with blessings that you have not even prayed about, my God. Haven't even thought about, haven't even came into your mind. And God is saying, I'm holy. Uh, and then he says, he that is true. What I'm telling you, Philadelphia, what I'm telling you, greater grace, saints of God, all of us in here, God does not lie. Thank God he don't lie. He don't lie. He don't lie. He, we might slip up every now and then to tell a lie, but God don't slip up and tell no lies. Everything that he told you in 1980 is still got to come to pass if it hadn't came to pass yet. God don't lie. Come on here, somebody. When you was an eight-year-old and God told you what he was going to do, it still got to come to pass if it hasn't happened yet because God don't lie. If he lied, this earth would fall apart. Come on here. The worlds will begin to collide because God doesn't lie. He has set it in course and it stayed the course by his word. God said to you, Philadelphia, I'm true. I don't lie. He that had the key of David. God is saying to the church, he says, I got a key. And that the key doesn't go to, to Adam. It's not promised to Adam because Adam didn't reign like David. Come on here, somebody. David had governmental rule. David had authority. David walked in a whole different kind of power because he believed in worship and praise. He believed in instrumental worship. He believed in having songs and, 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 and having hymns. And he believed in psalteries and, and drums and the dance. He said, God is saying, I got the key to authority. I've got the key to the governments. I've got the key to praise and worship. I, I'm, 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 I'm doing this and I'm setting you up. Church of the living God, I'm blessing you, greater grace. I'm doing something new in your life. Are y'all hearing me out there? Help me, Lord, in this place. God is saying, not only have I, am I true, not only am I holy, not only do I have the key of David, but I've given you an open door that no man can shut. Come on here. And now I'm going to shut a door that no man can open. Isn't that amazing how God can declare a thing and it happens? What does the key mean? The key means a gaining or preventing of entrance. In other words, you can use a key to get in a place or you can use a key to prevent somebody from getting in. And depending on where you are and who you are and where you live and who lives with you, you can lock somebody out, ain't that right? <laughs> Uh, 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 no, you won't be back. I bet you won't be back, right? You ain't got no key. Click and, and you, you can't get in if you don't have the key. And God is saying that there is some things that's happening in the heavens that your prayer has been answered. And God is saying, I'm opening up the door, you see. I, I'm beginning to loose and release some stuff in your life 
uh, because it's time now. Tell somebody it's my time. It's, it's my time. He talking to me. He talking to me. Some of y'all ain't said it yet. Some things you got to put in the atmosphere. It's my time. He talk, my, it's my time. The last time I felt like this, I got $10,000. Uh, Lord, it's my time. Come on here, Jesus. However you want to bless me, come on and bless me. Somebody shout, it's my time. It's my time. Facebook, put it, on, put it in the airwaves. Say, it's my time. It's my time. I've been dry long enough. I've been standing still long enough. My worship has been dead too long. It's time for me to wake up, shake myself. It's my time to break loose in my home. It's my time to break loose in my church. It's my time to break loose in my prayer. Somebody shout, it's my time. It's my time. It's my time. My God. So God says, I open and no man shut. I shut and no man opens. And he's telling the church this because he wants them to know that you're getting access to areas that nobody else has access to. And I'm shutting some things in your life uh, because it don't need to go into 2022. Come on here, somebody. And when God closes it, Tell your neighbor, don't open it back up. Come on here, come on here, come on here, come on here, come on here. Are y'all, y'all tell, tell the other person, don't open it back up. Jay, keep it shut, right? Whatever it is that God closes for you, keep it shut. Come on here, somebody. If he shut it, it was shut for a reason. How many adults I got in here, parents in here, when you shut the door after you didn't clean the room and tell, tell that kid, don't go back in there. Don't, don't, what, you better not go back in there. Come on here. You go back in there and touch one thing and see what happened. God is getting ready to give somebody that kind of a, uh, uh, that kind of a rebuke. Go, don't go back up in there. You get ready to take one foot into a place that you know you don't need to be going. God is saying, don't go back up in there. I've already shut that door. Come on here. I've already closed that door. I've already shut down that avenue in your life. It's time to get to 2022 20, Blessing Boulevard. Give somebody some, give God some praise up in this place. My God. Uh, so he says, and when I open it, no man can shut it. There's some folk that just don't want to see you blessed. I mean, it's, it's just the facts. Uh, but God is opening, he getting ready to open up some doors for us in here on this earth. I'm talking about earthly doors. Uh, I'm talking about doors that you've been praying about. God's going to open it and you got to walk through. Tell somebody you got to walk through. Uh, don't just look at it and watch the door and say, wow, that's a nice open door. No, you got to walk through that joker. You got to tear it on down. You got to tell them I've arrived. I'm the one for the job. I'm the one that needs the promotion. I'm the one that's here to, to, to steer this business and company in a different direction. You got to go in talking the talk and walking the walk because the Lord, my God, the Lord has opened up another door for you. It's not the same door that happened in 2012. It's not the same door that happened in 2002. God is getting ready to give you a whole other door that he's opening up. Anybody excited about it? Anybody excited about what God shout it's a new year. It's a new year. Come on put it in the atmosphere. It's a new year. And so the Lord says in verse 8 I know thy works. I know you. I know. I know that you've had it difficult. I, I know, I know that you've been terrorized for the last few years. I know some of you have been living in pain. I know, I know that your body ain't acting the way that it should be and you want it to be acting. I, 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 I know God, I know God is saying, I know that you have been going through and don't nobody know what you've been going through. God says, I know what you've been contemplating. I know where you got it hidden. I know it's stored. I know what cabinet is in. I know it's under your bed. God is saying, I know all about your life. But I also know, God is saying, that you didn't give up. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. I know God said, I know that you cried. 
when you didn't even think that you was going to make it through another day. I know that you thought the enemy was going to wipe you out, but it didn't happen. God says, I know it. I see it. I know that you didn't give up. I've seen what you've been doing in the meantime. I've seen everybody else was doing, having double standards that even though you felt like quitting, you kept the faith. You didn't give up on God. You said, Lord, if I go back there, I'll never return. So I've got to stay in your will and I've got to stay in good graces. Lord, it looked like they're having so much fun out there, but I'm going to stay right here because you're being too good to me. God said, I know that. I, I've seen you. Oh, some of us have given up on people. And I cut some folk off because you knew they wasn't good for you and wasn't, wasn't taking you where God was trying to take you. God said, I know. I know it was a hard decision that you had to come to, but I see what you've been going through and all that you've been going through. God said, listen here. Behold, he said, I know your works. Can I, let me walk up here. He said, I know your works. And he said, but behold, I set before you not just any door, but the door is open. Come on here, somebody. I'm not just going to give you just a door, but I'm going to open the door for you. He's already declared that a door that he opens, no man can shut. Come on here. And the door that he shuts, no man can open. But now he's not even fooling with this earth, you see. This time he's saying, I'm giving you a spiritual door. And the door that I'm telling you and showing you today, you ain't even thought, I thought about walking through this door before. It's just going to stay open. In other words, if you want to go through it, you can walk on through it. Uh, but if you want to stay away, then you can stay away. However you want to operate in this door, God said it's up to you. But know this, I'm getting ready to bless you like crazy. I have set before you an open door and the door that I opened for you did not come from wood, did not come from Lowe's. It didn't come from Home Depot. Come on here. It's not even this door right here. I see God dropping a door in your spirit. Uh, this door is not even going to be unstoppable. It doesn't take a nail or a hammer. It doesn't take any drywall screws. Uh, all it takes is for you to say, God, open the door, open the door, open the door. My God. So what is a door? A door is a portal or an entrance. It is a portal or an entrance. In other words, it is something that you can walk through, literally. To get the way to get to Earth's key, Earth's doors, is now we got codes or we got a key. The way to get through heaven's doors, just follow with me real quick, is found in Deuteronomy 28 and 2. When you obey the voice of God, doors begin to open, blessings begin to come. Tell somebody I'm moving, I'm changing my address to 2022 Blessings Boulevard. Jay, you hear me? Physically, I stay at 320 East Castle, but mentally and in my spirit, when the Lord showed me this, I was like, Lord, I need to dwell there. I need to get right where you talking. And he's already pro professed it, and it's already found in Deuteronomy chapter number two. And he talks about it. I, I believe it says here, let me read to you what's gonna happen in Deuteronomy. When you obey the voice of God's, God's blessing is inside the city. He'll bless you in the city. And then it says, God's blessing is in the country. Come on here. God's blessing is on your children. Anybody need that? God, please bless my children. Watch over and protect them. Keep them from danger. Y'all praying that prayer with me? Keep them from danger, seen and unseen. Bless their going out. Bless their coming in. The Bible says that when you obey God's voice, the crops of your land begin to be fruitful and multiply. Everything around you, your livestock, if you live in the country, begins to be blessed. Your cattle begin to yield calves. Every, your fruit begins to bear like never before. When we obey God's voice, 
The Bible says the blessings are in your basket. Come on here, in your basket. Lord, I need some blessings in my basket. That, that means your bank account. Come on here, just, if you 2022. I need some blessings in my bank account. Uh, Y'all ain't got that yet. Come on here. Somebody need to give God another wave offering. Lord, bless my baskets. <laughs> bless my baskets. Bless my black back. I need increase. I need. That's right. Stand on your feet. If you know it, you'd be like, Lord, sure enough. That's me right there. Oh, we got too many reserved folk. There's a praise in that right there. Lord, bless my baskets. Bless my baskets. Bless my baskets. And your bread bowl. Bless your baskets and your bread bowl. Well, what's the bread bowl in 2022? Well, that's your refrigerator. That's your cabinets. That's your, that's your sustenance. That's what you need to eat. My freezer. Come on here. Lord, bless my stuff. I don't need stress another year. I don't need another 2021, 2020 year. I need a bless. I, I, need, I need to get to Bless Boulevard. This is how you do it. Bless my, he'll bless your baskets. He'll bless your coming in. He'll bless your going out. God will defeat your enemies who attack you. He will defeat your enemies who attack you. They'll come at you one way, but they'll flee seven different ways. Come on here. They'll come down you one road, but they'll flee. Ain't nobody got no enemies in here. They'll come at you one way, but they'll flee seven different ways. They'll come down one avenue, but they'll flee seven different avenues. They'll come down one boulevard, but they'll flee seven different boulevards. Amen. And God will order a blessing on your barns and your workplaces. I believe we ought to give God some craze up in this place. Can we give him a hand clap up in here? And so the Lord says, behold, I have set before thee an open door. And I like what God says, and no man can shut it. When the door is open, it cannot be shut. Come on here, somebody. You thought that they, what the blessing was here just for a limited time. What's getting ready to happen in 2022 is it's going to be an overflowing, but you got to receive it. It's going to be an overflowing of blessings. It's up to you to walk in it and stay in there for a while. Don't get caught up in what's going on outside. Stay in there long enough to where you be like, Lord, you sure blessing me. God, I never knew that it was going to be this good. You don't even want to take another step out. You just want to stay in for a little while longer. Lord, is that your anointing? I feel I think I'll dwell here for a little while longer God are you healing my body I think I'll dwell in here a little while longer God is that the anointing that I feel again on my life I think I'll dwell in here a little while longer you don't have to but come up out of what God is doing hang in there stay right there remember that God is going to bless you give God some praise up in this place Oh, that's right. Give him praise up in this place. <laughs> yes. Somebody shout, yes, Lord, yes. Hallelujah. He said, and no man can shut it because you had a little strength. Ain't that the truth? I mean, my strength ain't nothing like it used to be. That Everything seemed like it got zapped. Just a little strength. Don't feel like going to work. Don't feel like getting out the bed. Don't feel like eating. Don't feel like doing nothing. I'm like, Lord, you know I just got a little bit of strength. Lord knows. That's why he opened the door. That's why nobody can else can shut it. Because he know if it's shut, you ain't got the strength to open it no more. He knows that if the door shuts, that you ain't got the people and the manpower to jack it back open. And God is saying, I know that you've got, you're at your last leg, but I see where you are and I'm going to bless you like crazy. Listen here, I would that this was the right door, but this ain't the door I'm talking about. There is, I've already told you, the spiritual door that God is opening for you. That joker is full of blessings. You hear me? 
It got your name on it. It got your address on it. It's waiting for you to step through there. God is saying, I made a way out of no way. You only had a little bit of strength, but I came through. You cried at night and nobody saw your tears, but I came through. You wept harder than you've ever wept. And God said, I've heard your cry. I came through. God dropped you a door. Listen what it said. He said, I have set for thee, for you, for you. Somebody say for me, for me, for me. I've set for you an open door. In other words, it can, all of us can have an open door. Come on here, somebody. And God saw how weak and jaggered you was. He saw how confused you were. He saw how fat, free, uh, feeble your mind had gotten, but he didn't let you go. Somebody shout glory up in this place. He didn't cut you off. Somebody shout glory up in this place. He didn't throw you aside. Somebody shout glory up. And he said, God did. I checked you out with your little bitty strength self. But one thing you did that is bringing this door right on down. You kept my word. You, you, you didn't give up. You, you got conflicting messages from other saints and other Christians. They, they were saying you can do this and do that and still be saved. But you kept God's word. You was like, but the Bible says. And, and they just kept trying to lure you away uh, just so that they can entertain your flesh. And you can entertain your flesh. But you kept going back and said, well, but the Bible say. And they just trying to lure you back and get you back into some old ways, old habits. But you kept saying, no, but the Bible says. Oh, I can't do that. And I mean, baby, go ahead. Do what you got to do. But the Bible that I read don't let me do that. And that's why I can't climb in your bed. I'm going to move on. That's why I can't sleep with you no more. Because the Bible says I shouldn't be. And the pastor told me that I'm trying. I need to change my address to 2022 Blessings Boulevard. And in order for me to get there, I've got to keep, keep keeping his word. i got to keep saying, God, but you said I got to keep saying God but I know what they're doing but you told me uh, God it looks bleak but I remember I have kept God's word if there's anybody in here that kept God's word this is a good place to worship him I've kept your word and I haven't denied your name the Lord is keeping record do y'all hear me? He's checking us out. Why would God set an open door for each of us in the spirit realm and then emphatically declared that we have kept his name, that we have kept his word, and that he saw us? God is checking you out. Do you hear me? I'm not saying, I'm not judging it, and I'm not saying checking you out I'm saying he is checking us out he is looking at you watch what you watch on TV watch what sites you go to watch who you talking to overseas come on here somebody some of y'all got 19 different boyfriends and girlfriends and we ain't met them yet and you can keep it a secret if you if you're not careful and God, but the whole time, the saints don't know. But God is like, I'm checking you out. I, I, I want to drop a door off on you. I, wanna, I really want to take you to Blessings Boulevard. But, but you got some stuff in the way. He said, you kept my name. You kept your word. I seen where you were weak. But no need to keep getting weaker. No need to keep giving up and giving in. To the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. God is trying to help me help somebody. You want to get to the place where you're blessed? Cut that stuff off. And take a step into the door. He says, I set before you an open door. What is blessings? The blessing, blessings means the state of doing well in respect to good, fortune, happiness, well-being, and prosperity. Let me read it again. The state of doing well, <clears throat> pardon me, in respect to good fortune, happiness, well-being, prosperity. What in the world? You mean 
we get ready to go to a place that is full of good fortune, full of happiness, full of well-being, and full of prosperity? Is that what you're trying to tell me, God? Jesus, is that? Come on here. Lord, is that what we're talking about up in this place? Do y'all know Oprah back in her day in Prime and Ellen DeGeneres, people flocked to their shows or used to Oprah's especially only because there was a possibility that they was going to get something. Y'all remember them days? Ellen piggybacked off of it and got real popular. But Oprah, when she started that foolishness, it was good foolishness, by the way. When she started it, people was like, please let me get a ticket to Oprah's. And they can be all the way up in the back just as long as they're in the building. Because if you wasn't in the building, you couldn't get the blessing. She gave away cars. Cars is this, like plural, right? So who in their right mind wouldn't line up if you're in the, in the area? You're giving away cars? Then she give away other side stuff, like the new perfumes and, and uh, just all kinds, new uh, blenders, new Kirk. Listen, she, 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 Cheryl wish she was there now. He's like, they're giving away Kirby's? Stuff where, but you had to be in line. Y'all know they, you, they, they didn't test for sobriety, but they was checking people's eyes at the door, like making sure that they was okay. So they wouldn't act a fool when they got into the set. Come on here. That was a, but, but when she said today, Oprah would be like, today, they folk wouldn't even know. That's all she would say. And they'd be like, oh, 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 it's getting ready to happen. She, today, I'm giving away, oh, oh, ain't even said nothing. She could have said a pack of annihilators. But the expectation was so high. Are y'all getting this? That the folk was going crazy. It would have been a letdown for her to give them a pack of annihilators. All the money that she had. But listen here, the, th the stuff that she was getting today, we're giving away a new Keurig and folks start kicking seats and going crazy. They were like, I don't even know what a Keurig is, but I'm so happy about it. She had to explain to them, this is what it is. This is what a Keurig is. This is what it does. And the folks was like, ah, oh, pass it my way. And they walked out of there with a new Keurig. I'm sitting up here telling you where we getting ready to go. Oprah has limited money. Come on here, somebody. Oprah gonna die one day. Oprah can't give you what God get ready. My God, I feel like running. He can't, she can't give you what God get ready to give you. I just read to you that the blessings are a good fortune, happiness, well-being, or and or prosperity. And y'all act like that's okay, okay. But did I tell you where it's coming from? It's coming from a God that sits high and looks low, that opens doors that no man can shut that shuts door you better give God I declare it in the area that you give God the best craziest praise that you can give him come on and let's give God give God give God a praise come on let's give God a praise come on let's give God a praise I feel like dancing in this place you better give him glory you better give him praise understand what's going on here the windows of heaven are opening the doors in glory are opening you want healing give him praise you want anointing give him praise you want breakthrough give him praise you want walls to fall shout them down you want doors to open bless his name this is a good place and a good time to give your God the best praise that you can give him. Come on and let's give him some praise, Zion. Hey, God, thank you. Hey, God, thank you. Hallelujah. 2022. We own the year. 
the God that we serve owns the year 2022. It belongs to you. That's us. It's, it's got, we got, listen, I said, God, I thank you because I've never heard you give me a year. I've always said, Lord, the year belongs to you. The year belongs to you. But after all of the hell, after all of the junk, after all of the stuff, after all of the COVID-19, or Omicron, or Maracron, or whoever, Delta variant, this variant, sicknesses in homes, diseases on the land, people being unemployed, people trying to find a place to eat. God said, after all you've been through, I'm doing something different. I'm going to give the year to you. I'm going to open up a door and whenever you want to step in it, feel free to step in it and we make sure that when you get to this door, that you bring it with praise, that you enter into my gates with thanksgiving, that you give me the best praise that you can give me. Somebody ought to give God some praise. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Come on, type hallelujah. God, I give you praise. God, I give you glory. God is opening up the door. He's opening a door. He's opening a door. He's opening a door. God, thank you. I thank God for where we get ready to go. I bless God for the anointing that's getting ready to fall. I'm so excited about how God is getting ready to tear up some stuff. I'm more excited about the praise that he's going to get. This is better be, this should be a year, I should say, that you thank God when you feel good and you thank him when you don't feel good. This should be a day, a year that you thank him when things are going good and thank him when things ain't going good. This should be a year when things are falling apart that you bless him. And when things are coming together, you, that you should bless. Are y'all hearing me out there? This is a year where you literally, your worship is going to confuse the enemy. He's going to be looking like, I know I shut that door. Yeah, you might have shut that door. But there's a door in heaven that cannot be shut. Come on here. And God is saying, when you come into it, come in the right way. Don't come in complaining. Tell somebody, stop complaining. Stop complaining. Quit murmuring. Quit crying. Quit fussing. And God is getting ready to bless you. Come on, let's give God some praise up in this place. Come on, give God some praise. If you don't mind standing on your feet, if you can. This is a place where we worship. This is a place where you give God your all. This is a place where you say, Lord, I just need you to bless me. Close your eyes. If you don't mind lifting them hands, lift them hands up. There's worship in the atmosphere. I feel God breaking through some things. Some of you still can't imagine it in your mind. How messed up you are matches God loving you. But I hear the Lord saying, this is your year though. This is your year. 2020, 20, 2022 is your year. This is a year of, of supernatural stuff. Doors are opening. And it's staying open. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You need to worship. This is where you start telling him, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I glorify you. Lord, I magnify you. Come on, just you and God, you and God, you and God. Come on, you and God, you and God. God, this I bless you with my whole heart. God, I give you glory with all my mind. All my soul, all my spirit belongs to you. God, you're the king of kings. You're the Lord of lords. Come on, worship him. Come on, worship. Come on and worship. Facebook, go into worship. Come on, go into worship right in your living room. Right where you are, right in your kitchen. Come on, saints of God, worship. Tell the Lord, Lord, I need this. I need you to break some yokes in my life. I need you to destroy some things in my life. 
I need you to cast down imaginations, pull down strongholds, every high thing that exalts itself against your knowledge. God, here I am on left for lane, but take me to Blessings Boulevard. Take me to a place that I've never been. Show my mind some stuff that I've never seen. Open doors that I've never thought I'd imagine to walk through. Do it for me, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I bless you. Lord, I thank you. You're a healer. You're a keeper. Somebody in here says, Lord, I, I need prayer. I need prayer. Pray for me. Just lift your right hand up. If that's you, lift your hand up. I need prayer. I need some walls to fall down in my life. I need some yokes destroyed, Pastor May. Oh, I really won't. And can't wait for 2022 to get going. But I got some hesitancy. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm not, not, I'm not feeling myself right now. If that's you, lift that right hand up. Facebook, go ahead and type, that's me, that's me. We're going to pray and believe that God destroys yokes. But I need you to pray with me. Come on, let's walk through the door. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, thank you for destroying yokes in my life. Thank you for generational curses being removed. Thank you for generational curses being destroyed. Thank you for generational curses being annihilated in the name of Jesus. Past addictions won't wait. You won't go with me in the future. I'm breaking things up right now. Come on, you got to pray. Come on, you got to pray with me. I'm breaking things up right now. I will not be stopped no more. Past, you will not hold me captive no more. Yokes, I'm destroying you in Jesus' name. My right hand of authority is up and it comes against you, Satan. The blood of Jesus is against you. You will not stop me. Come on here, pray. If you got to cry, cry. If you got to weep, weep. But you better get your breakthrough today. Today is the beginning of a whole new year. Today is the beginning of brand new change. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for destroying yokes. Thank you for breaking chains. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God, I thank you for your anointing. In Jesus' name. Somebody said, Pastor May, pray for me. I need my mind to be transformed. Come on, it's 2022. If that's you and your mind has been going through stuff, and you know it ain't been you. You know it's been mental attacks. You know the devil is trying to change your mind. He's trying to snatch your thoughts. If that's you, lift that hand up. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's step through the open door. Let's step to the Blessings Boulevard. God, I thank you for giving me a peace of mind. I thank you for regulating my thoughts. I thank you for getting my mind back together. I thank you, God, for anointing my thoughts. God, I thank you for new thoughts coming. God, I will not be depressed. I will not struggle another year mentally, emotionally, psychologically. Devil, you are a liar in the name of Jesus. And the blood of Jesus is against you. Satan, we rebuke you right now. We will have clear thoughts. We will have clean thoughts. We will think thoughts of peace and not of evil. We, think, we will think thoughts of joy and not of sadness. God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for transforming my mind. Thank you for renewing my thoughts. In Jesus' name. Can we give God some praise? Come on, if you believe it and you receive it. Come on, if you believe it. How many of you know he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think? Somebody shout, he's able. Somebody shout, he's able. God is able to do just what he said he'll do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you don't give up on God cause he won't give up on you somebody shout he's able 
Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. Shout, he's able. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody shout, he's able. Come on and shout, he's able. Come on. Just what he said. How many of you know he's going to fulfill? Come on, don't give up on God. Come on. Don't give up on God. Because he won't. Because he won't give up on you. He's a. Come on, come on, come on. Worship in this place. Oh, 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 oh some changes getting ready to fall in here. How many of you know he's able? Oh, oh, he's able. Yes, yes. Oh, you need to go into worship. Come on, come on here. God is able to do. Just what he said he would do. He's gonna fulfill it. Come on. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Oh, yes. Don't give up on God. Sing it to yourself. Sing it to yourself. You. How many you know he's able? he's able? Come on, put them hands together. Yes. Come on. Yes. He's able. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on, sing it again. Sing it again. God is able. Come on. It's God is able to do just what he Our said. Our yoke is going to fall today. He Come on. Do. He's going to fulfill. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Oh, Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Sing it to yourself. He won't give up. He's able. Hallelujah. How many over here know he's able? How many over here know he's able? He's able. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. God is able. God is able to do just what he said he would do. Sing it to yourself. He's going to fulfill. Every promise. Every promise to you. Don't give up on God. Tell yourself, don't, don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. He's, He's able. able. Come on, let's make a war cry. Oh, 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 oh he's able. Come on, everybody, do it. Come on. Oh, 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 oh he's able. able. Do it again. Come on. So don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Don't give up what a blessed on day, God, what a blessed time. Cause he won't give up on you. What a great moment, what a great opportunity. Don't give up on God. Thank you for changing our spiritual, our emotional don't give up address to 20. 22 we own in the year blessings boulevard god thank you help us to remember when things are caving in that you've changed our address we don't dwell spiritually where we used to you blessed us with the new year you've given us an address to remind us 
You've opened up the door. No man can shut it. You've caught us at a weak moment. God, but you kept the door open. We don't have strength to do what we want to do, but thank God. God, you didn't give up on us. We bless you. Lift them hands up high, Zion. Father, we glorify you. Come on, shout, he's able, he's able. He's able. Come on, give God some praise. Keep blessing him. Keep praising him. Keep giving him the best you got. Give him the fruit of your lips. Give him the best you got. Keep praising him. Keep praising him. If all you can do is clap your hands, be the best hand clapper you can give. If all you can do is wave your hand, be the best wave offering giver you can give. I stand before you today. I told you all in 2021, I am your chief reminding officer. And all I am reminding you to do is keep giving to God. Keep giving to God. Give your best. Because if you remember what I said last week or a couple weeks ago, when you give to a king, it's totally different than giving to a regular person. The preacher said today that when you give to the king, he keeps a record. And in kingly tradition, the king cannot give back to you what you gave to him. He must give you that plus more. I try to tell you and I try to remind you, I was reminded and having a conversation with a friend of mine this week. And I said, you know, sometimes I believe that we think we come to church and we have a casino mentality. We stick our offering in and we pull the lever and we shout and we just magically hope and pray that God will do something. But Solomon reminded me in Proverbs that hope deferred maketh the heart sick. In business, we say hope is a horrible strategy for success. Am I right, Eric? Hope is a horrible strategy for success. So we don't want to come to God with a casino mentality. We want to come to God with a kingdom mentality that we are giving our gift, whether it be $5 or $5 million to you, our king. And we know that kingdom protocol must take place. We're not going to pull a lever and hope that we get something. We're going to stand in faith, believing that this 2022 Blessings Boulevard is our new address. Can the church say amen? I'm reminding you to give as the ushers are handing out the offerings. For those of you who choose to give online for our online viewing audience, you can give on the website. You can go to ggtspringfield.org. You can click on the giving icon and put your amount in there. Uh, if you want to text to give, if you have your cell phones, you can put in 84321, hit send, and then it will walk you through that process of how you choose to give. Or for those of you who are even much more tech savvy, if you have the cash app icon on your phone, click the cash app, hit money sign, GGT Springfield, GGT Springfield, because the king is here and the king is going to come by and bless us one day. So don't go to GGT nowhere else. Go to GGT Springfield and put your seed in and watch God do an amazing thing. Amen. I believe that uh, God is doing an amazing thing and he's already done some amazing things as we close out 2021. Uh, for those of you who are here in the building, you'll notice that we got some, some it's, it's a little warm in here today. A little warm, a little toasty. But... Uh, Thanks to Deacon Conley back there, we got our new unit back there in the back, HVAC, and it's squared away. And we did that because of your giving. There's going to be some technology things that we will do in the future, and that will be because of your giving. So we thank you for your giving. We thank you for your giving. I have another quick story before I get out of here for, and close out in the giving, and then I'm going to be done. I was on a, a trip the other day, and I went to the Ohio Caverns. Anybody ever been to the Ohio Caverns? And uh, they were telling me, they said that there's, there's two different type of crystals that form. One is a stalactite and a stalagmite. And the stalagmite, it, it comes because water drips from the earth and goes all the way down into the caves. And it just starts with a drip of water. 
But because the water came through all the minerals of the earth, when it hits the next solid surface, it begins to form crystals. And over time, those crystals grow up. And they say the reason it comes from the bottom to the top, they say it's a stalagmite because it might reach the ceiling. The crystal might get so tall that it reaches the ceiling. And I was thinking, that's just how God does us. He takes our little and puts it through all these processes. And it becomes this great thing. And over time, it becomes this awesome thing. So keep giving to God your best. Whether it's your hallelujah, whether it's your $10, your $20, your million, just keep giving God your best. And I promise you, it's not a might with God. You might not reach your ceiling. You will reach your ceiling. You will become the best you that you can be. If you have your gifts and your envelopes finished, raise them to heaven as we pray over God. We bless you. We thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you for giving us a right mind to give. So now, God, I ask that you bless the gift and the giver. I pray, God, you bless the seed and the sower. God, give them back some 10, some 20, some 40, some 100 fold, God. We're believing that you can do it. We know you can do it. We now have a new address, 2022 Blessings Boulevard, and we believe that that will be our resting place for the remainder of this year. And we're believing, God, that as you bless us, we will be so bountiful in what you've given us that we will continue to give to others as you have been so gracious so merciful and so kind to us and all the blessed people of God shouted with a loud voice and said amen, amen.